G'day viewers, Coin Tector and Troy just uh, out for a Sunday morning hunt. I think it's the 11th of the 3rd of the 17, is it Troy, or is it the 12th today? Uh, 12th. <laughs> the 12th. And um, we've got an old, I think it might have been an old recreation reserve in here. Let me just zoom in on this for you viewers if I can. Rowan Park. Bit bumpy here. There's a little shed out the back there. Would have been part of the old wreck reserve. Anyway, we're going to give it a go here. See how we go. G'day, viewers. Coin Tector and Troy back here again. Um, We've come to an old wreck reserve that Troy's done a little bit of homework with. He's pretty good at finding these old places. Um, anyway, there's an old cricket pitch out in the middle there. I'll give you a bit of a look. There's the old, must have been like the old clubhouses there. A um, couple of old posts in the ground. Must have been a gate to lead you into the oval. Um, Troy's here. G'day, Troy. There you go, mate. <laughs> good. And near this old tree here, I've got a cracking first signal. Fingers crossed here, we'll have a look. I'll give you a listen too. Whatever this is, Troy, it sounds good, mate. Yeah, sounds right here as well. Twelve forty, eleven forty-three, could be promising this. Oh yeah. This sounds good, Troy. And this didn't sound that. That's out, is it? That is promising. Bloody get it straight out, mate. Right, let's have a look. Coin. Half penny. It is, Troy, a little half penny. Um. I'll try and give the viewers, oh I can't make out a date on that, but that was pretty good. We've only just rocked up at this new spot and we get that straight away and Troy's, Troy's onto one over here too. So good start viewers, now we'll go, go see Troy's. Cracking signal, 78, 79. Oh stop it Troy. Stop it. Can I give him a listen? Yeah mate, just there. 12.40, that could be another little half penny Troy. What a good spot you found, brother. It's working all right already. Yeah. Come on, mate. That sounds like a coin, Let's this one. See something there, I think. What's that? Come on, mate. Oh, what is that? One of those bloody sting things. Is it a harmonica reed? I don't know what they are. Is that what it is? I think that's a part of a harmonica reed. Where's the harmonica? Don't know. She might be reading there still. <laughs> Back here again, viewers. Got another one here. I'll just keep him there so I don't lose him. 1342. I'm not sure what this is, guys. We'll have to have a look. Looks like a little cup of uh, badge or something. Yeah, we'll. One of the three. There it is. What's that thing there? What's that, Troy? What is it? Oh, stop it. Give me a look. Oh, it is too. Look at that, viewers. Part of a pocket watch. That's pretty cool. Another one here, viewers. Troy's out the back there with the owners of the property looking at a few things, but I've got a, not a bad target here. 1340 that it's an Australian Commonwealth penny and the date is well I don't know 26 perhaps anyhow that wasn't bad in amongst all this junk we'll keep looking back here again viewers Troy's got a nice what's it read on the AT gold Troy 77 can I give the viewers a quick yeah, listen beautiful 1238 on the e-truck what is it Troy a can. 
Whatever that is. Yeah. Um, um, yep, yep, yep. Got a hole and might be a little bit of pipe or something, I think. Yeah. Is that one? Might be the old flagpole. Is that it? It's a coin. Woo! <laughs> a lot. Penny in the boat. Hang on a sec, that's a bit close. Well done, kids. Now hang on. We've got a couple of helpers today, viewers. That is a little half penny, but we can't really see a date on it at the moment because it's pretty shagged. Oh, hang on, Lockie, let me just have a little look. 1950, there you go, viewers. I'll just turn it around this way in the light. 1950. Oh, I got him, you beauty! Rightio, Bills, this is just a bit of a wrap-up on how me and Troy went today. Um, all of the coins we found today we gave to young Lockie and his sister. Um, they were the owner's kids that led us onto the private property where the old school was. So, so that was quite good. This is um, a little item I found. I've got no idea what it is. It's got some little star pattern on the front of it. Um, but, yeah, if anyone can leave in the comments if they know what perhaps that might have been. Um, yeah, that would be good. Uh, now, Troy's found this. We reckon it might have been a little brooch or something. Troy, do you think? I think so. It's got like a little pattern on it. I'll see if I can pick it up and give your viewers a bit of a look without it going too blurry. It's got like a fancy tree pattern on it. Um, and on the back, it's got like this must have been worn as a brooch or something. So that was something different. Um, and probably the find of the day. Troy found this six penny weight. Was that right, Troy? I think so. Hopefully I can just get a bit closer and you can see that. So, and I think Troy looked it up and it dates back to the 1850s. Is that right? I, from one I can find on Google at the minute, it looks like that. But I'll have to do some more research to Yeah, so more six penny weight. And I'll pick it up and just... Hopefully it'll still focus in all right. Now it probably doesn't want to. There you go. Which was really quite cool. And I'll flip him over. Now there is a design on the other side of it, Troy, but we're not really sure. We're going to have to try and perhaps take a couple of still shots and see whether or not that can turn out a bit better. But I think that's what it is, but it's hard to see. Oh, yeah, right. Troy just looked it up on Google. But anyhow, we'll take a few photos of that. And... I found the top of this cool old bottle, uh, Enos. Uh, it's got prepared by, and then down the bottom it's got patent, and in the middle it's got Enos. And we looked that up on Google. And what was it, Troy? A fruit? Fruit salt, I think. Yeah, a fruit salt bottle. But, um, yeah, I've never really heard of that before. But that was a cool old lid, that. But it was a bit tough going today. But, um, yeah, whoops, that's upside down now. And like I say, we donated the coins to the young kids because they were out there helping us dig. And um, So yeah, a bit tough on the old coins today. Not a great deal to speak of, but we still found a few. But anyhow, that was that. And um, yeah, hopefully... Oh, and if you're interested, we do dig junk. And there is a heap of it. There's old pull tabs and an old lock. Some random old, I couldn't even tell you what that thing is. Um, bits and pieces, something, heaps of glass. Must have been one of those, the bottom off one of those old bottles. Or the top, I'm not quite sure. It's quite thick, that glass. Glass everywhere, actually. Heaps of porcelain in the paddock, just broken up everywhere. Um, some random handle thing, not really sure what that is. So, yeah, a bit tough, but anyhow, at least we went out and did it. So, um, look forward to the next hunt, guys. Righto.